These are some shots off my first roll of Lomochrome Metropolis. Getting back into film photography, I'm always eager to try a new film, but I'd be lying if I told you I was thrilled when I got the scans back from this roll. The washed out tones, looking like it was an overcast day when it was sunny, the dull colors, all of it made me pretty disappointed in the results and I didn't plan to shoot another roll. Especially when you compare Metropolis with how the sunrise looked on Ektar. I thought this was the first and last roll shooting Metropolis. But then I had a change of feelings. My local lab, in partnership with Lomography, was hosting a photo walk in Minneapolis, and they asked me to capture a skyline of the city with Lomochrome Metropolis for the promo poster. First I went to a popular spot photographers like to go to get a view of the city from I-35W. After that I headed over to Stone Arch Bridge, and after I was done shooting I had only used about half the roll, so I decided to come back at night. And that's when the magic happened. Something about these muted tones gave a new perspective on the city. A skyline I have shot so many times looked like a mix between an old dusty western and Gotham City. Almost all the colors seemed to be muted except for some of the reds and yellows. I finally saw the potential this film had, so I got myself another roll of 35mm film and shot it entirely at night. So here are about 20 photos shot that night. Now that I had tried a roll of this at night in Minnesota, I was excited to be shooting another roll on my trip to Vegas. I found a great spot on the top of a parking lot and captured a few shots around Fremont while the sun was setting. After that and once it had become dark, I wandered around on Fremont Avenue getting a few photos around the busy crowds among the neon signs. This is my favorite shot from the trip that I shot on Lomo Metropolis. I love how the reds and yellows just seep through the image. You and I have unfinished business. Baby. You ain't kidding. If you've been on my channel before, you've noticed one thing I like to do here is to do analog duels or side-by-side -side shootouts of the same location with a different film. So as I was shooting on the Bronica SQAI, I was switching out the backs between Lomo Metropolis and Sinistil 800T. I liked how different the buildings looked between these two films, but the reds, yellows, and oranges largely looked the same. My favorite part about these images is how the sky looks between the Metropolis and Sinistil. There's more of a gradient on Sinistil versus Metropolis makes it a uniform color. Same with this image. The Metropolis looks just red and white, while Sinistil has a lot more greenish along the lights and building. I think this is the quintessential image that shows what Metropolis is about, showing lots of reds and yellow only. I guess that's why the packaging colors are red and yellow. Here you can see the effects of how it mutes out the blue colors from the white castle sign, 
to make it look only yellow and black instead of blue and white. Again, I like the Metropolis version of this photo better because I like the more monochromatic look that draws you in. Overall, I think that Metropolis makes for a great option for shooting at night, especially if there are a lot of red, yellow, and orange lights you want to accentuate and mute out the other colors. So after the results I found with the night shots of this film, I started to look back on the images again I shot during the day and found a new appreciation for those. I think it can make a fairly vibrant day have this dusty old western look to it. Obviously it may not be a look you would normally go for, but I think it has a certain charm to it that certain scenes might call for. And that's why I love film. Getting that baked in look is a limitation that I find liberating about the medium. So if you want to try shooting Lomachrome Metropolis at night, I do have a couple of simple tips. All of the Lomachrome films have an ISO range on them, and for Metropolis it is 100 to 400 ISO. I highly recommend shooting at 100 or lower, even down to 50 or 25. These films need more light to be able to capture the look. I would also highly recommend shooting with a tripod because the lower ISOs. So thank you for watching today's video. This is the first video in a four part series, looking at these four Lomography films while shooting at night. Lomochrome Metropolis, Lomography Red Scale, Lomochrome Purple, and Lomochrome Turquoise. So come back next week for the next episode. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.